Hi and welcome to my channel. It's Rebecca, also known as a 4 kids at 147. And I have finished the last of my Ever Moment custom multi-panel, which means the diamonds from sort of all four of them need to be put away. Um, now I am going to also frame, I say frame, um, more mount um, each of those multi-panels and that video will be coming on Sunday. Um, so do keep an eye out for that, you'll be able to see how the last one turned out and them all together. But I need to put the diamonds away. Now I have a lot of diamonds, so there is all the colours here that were used in the last one but then a lot of them had extras at the moment are always sort of popular with the extras anyway very generous and some of them I have a huge abundance so I have all the extras here and um, they're not all in a number order actually I thought they were but they're not so let's take these off. We've got 300s, 400s, 400s, 9s, 3000s, and then we've got 100s here. So they're in a sort of order, but not quite. So I need to make sure that I pay attention to these. I also have my, you know, original tub of diamonds. I then have also brought over sort of my very, at the moment, very, very mismatch um, storage for my Heaven and Earth Designs extras. Because I do think if any of these actually are in my Heaven and Earth Designs, they're not going to fit into a Heaven and Earth Designs tub. I mean, some of them, 415, the tub's still full on its own. Never mind what I've already got. So I thought I'll get that out and at least then I've got it handy. So first things first, this step isn't for everyone, but I do need to check through any diamonds to see whether they are in my heaven and earth designs because I keep those diamonds separate. So 159 is, and I have all these, and it's already full. Do I have a bag for extras? I do. I have a bag here that has some extras in it. So let's see what I can get in these. So I haven't made these pretty, worked with them, you know, any of that. I haven't done anything with my Heaven and Earth Designs diamonds yet. I think I'm going to because I do in effect use them or go into them a lot, especially for when I'm putting diamonds away like I am now. So I do think I need to sort out some sort of organization for them. I kind of have an idea of what I might do. I just need to think through it and actually put it into place. So that's the first one. 160 is also one that is in my Heaven and Earth design. And I have loads of extras. Do I have a bag for those? I've got one for 161. I don't have a bag for 160 yet. Oh, that is a lot, a lot of diamonds. Because thing is, I do have a little bit of space in there. But... Like even transferring these across now from the pot. There we go. That's now full. And I still have all these extra. So I'm going to grab a little pot that I have some baggies and stuff in. I think I'm actually just going to use the Ever Moment bags. These are ones that come with an Ever Moment kit, but they do also have like a, a white space. Um, it doesn't match everything else at the moment, but as I say, I do think I have a way of potentially revamping my Heaven and Earth designs in a way that, you know, the storage is nice. It might actually make the kitting a little bit easier as well, which is always a bonus. 
So if I'm going to do that, there is no point in sort of making these, this de-kitting part extra, you know, nice or making it match or messing about with any of that at the moment. Let's just get them in this storage box and I'll deal with it later. So this does mean that I am cutting into quite a few of these packets. I suppose I could have just thrown the packet in with it for the purposes of I'm going to revamp this later. In fact, I might do that with the next one. We'll see how it goes. Let me get my little rubbish to look. See, that's still, that's still full of stuff from a previous sort out, but that's fine. Okay, 161. That's also in here, and I'm pretty sure I have a bag for that. Yeah, I do. And I've got some here. I have lots of it. So I'm just going to put them all in here. I could potentially get a few into that pot, but not that many. So let's get all of these in here. These are all extras just from doing a multi-panel. If you're somebody that does a lot of Evermoment paintings, I am pretty sure you will end up with a whole host of Evermoment spares because I know I did one painting with a lot of one particular colour. Oh, the amount of spares I had was unreal. Absolutely loads of them. Come on. There we go. So that is a pretty full bag of spares now. Take the labels off. Any one that I'm actually finishing. These labels are coming off quite nice as well and I think many of these may have used the removable adhesive in my sticker machine and I think it does leave less residue than the permanent one which is always good. Okay 169 that's in here that's also full. Do I have a bag? You see a pattern coming here can't you? I have no more extra bags of this but I do have a full pot a bit of static but let's just the flick and then those last bits that are in there are just rubbish so get those out take the sticker off and then bob 169 at the moment as long as they're sort of in with the hundreds I'm not too fussed about if they're in pure order. Um, 317 is also in here. Do I have a bag of extras of those? I do. So I've got 317 here and here. I have notes. Let's see if they actually fit in there and then I can just tip one lot into the bags. They do. Normally, I would open all these extra bags, but I think I was just trying to save myself time when I was dealing with the multi-panel because I knew I just wouldn't need them. I think that was the main reason. It's just like, I'm never going to get to needing these bags. And it's true, I didn't. Okay, so they're all 400. So 318 is not in this painting, so that's fine. 336 is, I think... They're not all going to fit though. Borderline, but I've got static in these as well. They're jumping about a little bit. Quite a bit of static on these ones. Ooh, they're alive. They're alive. They're falling off my finger. Okay, let's try breathing into this. Just see if that helps them to lose their static. No, not really. Okay. I'm going to grab my tray. because Sometimes it's a little bit easier to deal with them on a tray than it is out of the bowl. So let's get them out. Let's get the label off that one. 
this one's been stuck on with permanent adhesive by the looks of it it's a lot stickier and then let's see if we can fit them into this tub if they don't fit in then I may have to do a baggie for them but I'm kind of hoping they fit they're just getting stuck to my finger more than anything else though you got to love static diamonds. They just bring a whole new level of entertainment to a de-kitting or even a kitting up. I don't find they're a problem when I'm actually working on a painting. And I've made more mess. Um, yeah, I don't find static diamonds give me too much of a problem when I'm working on a painting and when I'm sticking them down individually. But maybe that's just because the, the ones that are truly static -y. just stay in the pot okay done putting the lid on if i find any more they're going so 336 is done 413 i don't have do i have it there i do so i'll need that in a bit 414 is in here and it's full so let's see if i've got i have a bag for 414 so we'll put those in and again just get rid of the label so I know what's been done and what hasn't and then I also have an extra bag here as well so we'll get those put in this is a very very full bag is in okay 415 no 451 yes so 451 is in here I've got no other 400s in the bag so that's good 451 is full though do I have a bag for it I do so I'll add those in static again because this is going into a bag that's not too full I can sort of get them to get out so that's four five one throw them in the four hundreds okay six four eight I need my next case for my heaven and earth designs where were we six four eight Nope, 762, no, 823, yes, so 823 is used in this and it is full and I have extra bags, so let's add those in, oh that is actually just a piece of rubbish rather than a diamond, is that going to close? That'll do. Okay, 823. So 825 is next. I don't have that in here. 930 is not in this case. Next case. Uh, we're back. Okay, 930 we were on. Yes, 930 is here. This tub is not currently full. So we'll top it up. But then we do still have more and I have more here so I'm going to need to make a bag so let's just scribble on here 930 and let's add in these So this is a step that you won't have to do yourself if you're not doing your heaven and earth, a heaven and earth design. But do stay tuned, the rest will be going away in my normal spare storage, um, which is now currently all pretty. So it all has new bags and new stickers. And I don't think I've cut the corner off this enough. Um, all has... Yeah, I have all new bags and all new stickers 
in my spare storage. Oh, I've got another bag. Um, I just need to do a couple more steps on it, I think, just to make it exactly how I want it to be. So that's 930. Throw that in with the 900s, of which I have loads. But again, that's fine. And then 931 is in here and is full. So because it's already full, that makes me wonder if I already have a bag for it. And I do. 931. And part of the organisation I want to do for this is just to make sure that it's a lot easier for me to see. Right, where was I? Sorry about that. I hope was just checking if we needed to change the colour of diamond painting tray that's being printed. So, um, yeah, I do want to make sort of this heaven and earth design extra storage. I think I do want to make it a little bit prettier. Part of me is like, it, you know, it doesn't matter. It, it's not a long term project. But having said that, it is a long term project, even if it's not, you know, even if it does have an end date. So actually storing, you know, my spare diamonds, my extra diamonds, not including the heaven and earth design, you know, that will stay as long as I am diamond painting, full stop. So that will stay for a really long time. Whereas this heaven and earth design, while it does have an, it, it will have an end date when I've finished it, it still is. A very long-term project so I do still think it is worth you know making the, the spares work for me a little bit better when I'm de-kitting kits it will just make it a lot nicer a lot more straightforward I just don't know if I can get it all to fit in one box is the problem because I've already got to the point where it is, you know, overflowing this one box. It used to be in a smaller box and that's overflowed. But I can't limit the quantity of how many spares I keep when it comes to my heaven and earth design. Not without having to reference the chart every single time to see how many I need. It, it's just not worth the extra time to do that um, the extra step in the process every single time rechecking it and saying oh do I, do I need that do I you know do I need to save these diamonds do I not yeah it's it's just not worth that I don't think okay so I was trying to find 934 so even more my 900s they're not in order which is something that I think I do need to sort so that they are in order. I'm just not sure if I'm going to end up needing two boxes to do it. And I don't really want to take two boxes to do it. But we'll see. We'll see. Okay, 935. 935 we do have and we don't have as many of these. So hopefully, apart from the fact we're dealing with static again, but I'm just going to flick them out and I'll just find the ones that land on the desk because they weren't landing in the big tray anyway. So let's get those in there. Okay, that's out of the way. And then let's collect up all the ones that have gone here, there and everywhere. But I don't need an extra bag for those, so that's good. 935 has all fitted in. 939. That is one that I definitely use, and that is definitely one that I have extra bags of. In fact, I have about six extra bags of them. But I need thousands of them for my heaven and earth designs, so this is one that I definitely know I need to keep all these extras for. Oh, 
do you know, I'm actually starting to wonder whether I should store my Heaven and Earth Designs extra diamonds in these rather than in a photo box. Ooh. Oh, now I am thinking multiple ideas. Okay, let me stop doing that while I'm filming. So 3024, no. 3064, no. 3747 will be in the next one. Okay. 3747. I do have that one. Do I have extras, extras? No, I don't. Okay. 3747 is full. So do I have a bag already? Or not? And this is where it gets a little bit chaotic because I can't actually tell what I've got. No. Okay, so where's my bags? Three, seven, four, seven. We'll add them in. Quite a little bit of static in these. Throw them in the chaotic box. sticker was stuck on with permanent. I've got a mixture in this box because some of them are actually um, taped on because when I kitted it up I actually changed my storage from, sorry not my storage, my sticker maker cartridge from permanent to removable. Okay 3752 I also have, I have extras and that pot's full. So do I have 3752? I do. Yeah, what's made me wonder whether to store them in these is I'm just looking here at like that 413 and I'm thinking that looks pretty and I could potentially hang the spares for the Heaven and Earth designs up rather than it taking space on a shelf. Mm. And then I could just, you know, split them up on rings, depending on, I don't know, maybe by case or by number. Hmm. Okay, so 3752 is done. 3753, do we have that? No. 3756, no. 3768, yes. And we have extras here. And it's full. So do I have a bag already? Three, seven, six, eight. I can't see one. Because I can't see one, I'm not going to faff about too much. I'm just going to do a bag because I'll be revamping it. So three, seven, six, eight. And let's just get them in. And I think one has just pinged onto the case somewhere. I'm not trying to find it. It can just, it can go. Let's get these added in. Okay, three, seven, Six, eight. Throw them in because they're not going to fit properly anyway. Uh, three, seven, eight, two. Three, seven, eight, two. No. Three, seven, nine, nine. Yes. I knew that was one I definitely had. And I have an overflow bag already. So I'll add those in. In fact, pretty much everything that I've had an overflow bag for, apart from 413, 
has ended up being in my heaven and earth designs. Talk about keeping a lot of spares. That is a lot, a lot of spares. Okay, 3860, yes. While I'm here, 3861 is a yes, 5200 is a no, okay. 3860 and 3861 are both too full. So 3860 and 3861 is quite a few different shades, but that's fine. I've picked a design that doesn't matter what the shades are. Okay, so that is all the diamonds sort of saved or put aside from what I may potentially use in my heaven and earth designs. So let me try and get the bottom of this box. Look at it, it is an absolute full state. Okay, so that's done. All these are extras. These have all been used, so I'll put all these onto this ring and I have them hung on my pegboard. Okay, so now it's time to put anything away in my normal, pretty spare storage, which looks a lot nicer. So we'll start with 318. 318 for my squares. My bag is pretty much already full. I have gazillions. So they are going to go to my sharing with others, provided they're not in my small heaven and earth, because I haven't kept those diamonds separate. They're sort of in here. So that is a step I need to check. So what we'll do for this is again we'll just label it up until I sort out what I'm doing with the diamonds I'm sharing with others. I'm just going to tip those in and what I have currently for all diamonds that are not going in my spare storage is a plant pot tub. And they are going to be ones I need to check my black and white heaven and earth design to see if it's needed. If it's not needed, then it will go in my giveaway. Okay, 413. Again, that is another one that in squares is already full, or at least it would fit a few in, but it wouldn't fit a load in. So, what I'm going to do with this one just because there is no point in labelling up another sticker and messing about when I haven't yet established how I'm going to move things, I'm just going to throw it in one of them. At least I know what DMC number it is and I can deal with exactly what I want to do when I get to it. Okay, 415, again, that one is full enough and that is even more diamonds. So 415, oh, missed out the one. Squeeze that in the middle. And we'll bob them in here. And they can just get shared with somebody else. Share the love. If I don't need them for my other one. We'll see how we go. Okay, 648. Am I in here? 648 is square. So I have space in this. So for this one, I will just be topping up the spares that I have. Should I ever need them, I will have plenty. 
This one was stuck on with a little bit of tape because when my sticker runner ran out, it didn't cover this one with sticky at all. Okay, 762, is that in here? No, that's in my next box. So we'll move on to my next one. 762 is what I need next. Oh, it's actually right near the front. I don't have loads of space in this one, but I do have some. I have quite a few different varieties of 762 as well. I don't think manufacturers can make up their mind whether it's a green or a grey or what. But if there's manufacturers that can't make up their mind already, if I were to ever run out, there would also be manufacturers that I would need to choose which one suited best. Okay, so 825. That will fit in. And just flatten it down and it stays nice and rigid and doesn't take up too much room. This row isn't the straightest, but I am going to sort out making sure that that row can be a bit, a bit straighter in next Saturday's video, I think. All going well. Um, 3024. 3024. And I actually only have a very, very tiny amount of these. So I'm happy to have a few more. Build up those spares a little bit. And they actually look like they agree on colour. Which is always good. This must have used the permanent adhesive. Okay, 3064. Where are we for that one? 3064. And I, oh, I actually never had that one before, but I have a bag ready, ready for any squares, and I've not had it before, so that's another colour added to my collection. That's nice. If I had the time or the inclination, sometimes I do think it would be nice to um, see if I'm ever going to be working with a colour that I've not used before. And here's the final box, recently sort of finished being organised though there is a gap at that end. But they all now have their pretty bags. So we can add to this one. A couple of different shades again in that one as well, but I don't mind that because I never know what shade any future potential missing ones are gonna need. Okay, 3756 is one that I do have loads of. It's actually one that I can see in my extras. And that is because this is a colour that I've had off ever moment before, but I had loads of spares. So I'm gonna add those in for when I sort out my share with other diamonds. And then we've got 37, Eight two three seven eight two in square didn't have as many of these these were used in this was used in sort of some of the buildings that needed a beige touch it was a lot of blues and greys that, that were used quite a bit across those paintings so I end up with even more spares and then last but by no means least right at the very end we've got B5200 and there's only a few of these and I purposefully didn't when I last did my sorting out I purposely left some room in these so that I could add more when I only had a few saves me labeling up a bag and stuff Okay, so that is 
put the spares away. That was a, a proper long de-kitting. Um, all these extras can go away until I get those pretty and I can pop the spare bags away. I can also put the extra bags and then back up on my pegboard for a future one. The main last thing that I do want to do is clean up my storage. Um, when I get sort of a new, you know, a storage out ready to do a new kit, I want it to be looking new. I want it to, you know, be ready to go. I don't want to feel as though I've not finished de-kitting something and then future me suffers. So I do like to use this Goo Gone um, to remove any adhesive that's left on these bottles. Um, it smells of oranges, so it's not a horrible smell. And I just go over each one. Some of them are worse than others. So this one's a bit worse with the sticky residue. So I go over the top of each, just removing any of the residue from the stickers. As I say, some of these have had permanent adhesive on. Some of them have the removable, which seem to come off a little bit better in my Xyron sticker maker. But these bottles have also been used now for four individual paintings, which may cut my multi-panel. And because I was doing a de-kitting and a kitting up all in one, I didn't clean the bottles in between. I just overlaid the next sort of set of stickers. So some of these have had three or four stickers you know, changed over the top because the symbols were changing between each one. So some of them have quite a bit of residue, which is fine. And it was fine when I was de-kitting and kitting up, but I don't want to go to do a brand new painting and look at my bottles like this. So just a few extra minutes after putting away my diamonds, to wipe over the tops of them and make sure I've removed any residue. And that you can't tell where the stickers were. And then it doesn't matter what shape of stickers I use next time either, because I'm not trying to cover up residue from an earlier one. And then, I'm just going to wipe over with a dry part of the cloth just to remove any, you know, goo gone that might be left and just sort of clean that up. I mean, we do end up with residue on the foam, which is not ideal, but it's not awful either. So my bottles are all clean which means that storage can get zipped up and go back on my shelf for the next project. All the diamonds are away, which is a feat in itself for that painting because there was loads of them. So stay tuned and um, do make sure you've hit that subscribe button and notification button because I am going to be bringing a video out where I do show you the multi custom multi-panel completed. And it wasn't the cheapest thing to purchase either. But from what I can tell so far, it looks stunning. Um, I'm also going to get that framed and mounted and up on the wall so that you guys will be able to see what it looks like. So stay tuned for that video. But thank you so much for watching and I'll speak to you all again soon.